The cruise ship passengers have all returned home, but the insignia remains in Port Castries with unanswered questions about what caused an engine room fire which disabled the ship. One thing is clear, its scheduled cruise on December 17th has been cancelled. Good evening, this is the CTV News. I am Natalie Jodi Fanis with the details. We appreciate you joining us on Calabash TV and on the Wave 93.7 and 94.5 FM. As expected, Oceana Cruises has reported that Insignia's next voyage, which was scheduled to depart December 17th from Miami, has been cancelled. The ship remains in St. Lucia after an engine room fire in Port Castries. That tragic incident resulted in the death of two contractors and one crew member. No passengers were injured in the engine room accident. Today, the cruise line said another hospitalized crew member has now been discharged from the hospital. All 656 insignia guests are either back in Miami or already home. Oceana had chartered aircrafts to fly them home from St. Lucia to Miami. The cruise line's technical team is now on board the vessel, working with the ship's officers and investigative authorities to assess the situation. The cruise line says further details could not be shared as more time was needed to conduct a full analysis. It promised to share additional details as they become known. Officials from Marshall Islands are taking a lead role in the investigation, which also involves the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board and the U.S. Coast Guard. Meanwhile, the passengers who survived the ordeal are talking about the experience. In this report, speaking with the Associated Press. We had a, uh, a malfunction in the engine room that uh, unfortunately we lost uh, uh, some of our folks, some of our family. And uh, we're dealing with all those issues. We've uh, tried to mobilize and get every, all the guests back home. It's the ongoing uh, maintenance that, uh, that we do. We don't have any of the details yet. We have a full technical team on board and all of the, uh, uh, the authorities that need to be on board assessing the situation. The, it was, uh, uh, we still don't know. We don't have any more details than that at this point. They've lied to us. They've lied to our kids who've called to find out if we're okay and where we are. We said there was a fire and explosion on the ship. People did die. I'm very sorry about that. They put us in a hot room for 14 hours. It was an unfortunate circumstance that three people died, and we're all here alive, and we've made it. We're fine. We've been eating. We've been drinking. We've had shelter. We've had bathrooms. We are just fine. 